Welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's open two of the blaster boxes of Artifacts Hockey today. Um, as you see, these are $22 each. They sell these at Mike Stadium Sports Cards. I did buy uh, two of the um, hobby boxes. I've already opened them on this channel. I probably haven't posted the video, but I will post the video soon. So you can see what the hobby box looks like. These are the blaster boxes. In these... It says collect autograph game worn memorabilia cards. There's Patrick Kane on the box. Um, five cards per pack, seven packs per box, so 35 cards. Artifacts, ro new rookie class. Look for redemption cards. Uh, top 20, 21 rookies. All right. Let's open them. I do love these cards. The Artifacts uh, Hobby Box was really cool. And I did pull some nice cards out of there. So I decided, forget it, let's... I had 40 bucks. So figured why not get these guys and see if we can pull some other things. I've been wanting to open new boxes, but if you collect, you just know that they are all ridiculously expensive. I mean, Hoops Basketball just came out. And I think it was $399 a box, and we sold the whole case in, like, that morning. Um, you know, and Hoops used to be the, you know, kind of cheap trash box that nobody wanted. And now it's like, you can't even keep them in stock. Um, I mean, we'll get more of them and everything, but I'm sure next time they come out, they'll be $450 or something. And then eventually they'll be $600. And then, you know... If you kept your box and you never opened it, the one that you paid 400 bucks, who knows? It might be worth a thousand. Seems to be the way all these boxes of cards have gone. Oh my gosh. I just do not have the finger dexterity. So let's snip every one of these packs here. So that way we can just pop these easy. Because I feel like I'm going to blow out a finger. Trying to open that. As usual, listen to some smooth, sultry jazz. Because honestly, when it comes to card co card opening, it's supposed to be a relaxing thing. Nice and calm and relaxing. This is kind of like my thing I do for to relax and be entertained. And I do sell cards as usual. I will mention I sell cards, Sullivan Cards Collectibles, all one word on eBay. I have 127 items right now. I just put on a bunch of vintage pro wrestling magazines. Um, starting bid on all of them is 99 cents, basically, except for there's one. There's like the special edition with the Ultimate Warrior on the cover and it's like gold. I, I started that one at five bucks. Because if you don't want to pay five bucks for that one, I will keep it and I'll put it in the frame. All right, let's go and see what we got here. I'll try to do this actually in camera so I'm not an idiot. All right. Nothing, nothing to hoot and holler about by any means. I don't know if these are numbered on the back or not, so we will have to look. As usual, being a Calgary Flames fan, I open any Cal I keep any Calgary Flames cards, so I tend to go back through it. There we go. We got a Semen Semen Bar Barlamov used to play for the Abs. They kind of look at how they like off printed the number on this thing. Four fifty out of four ninety nine. It's a purple variant, but come on, upper deck. I don't like they did that. It looks. Makes a cool looking card look kind of trash, doesn't it? Alright, we'll put him right there. There's our first numbered card. It's like the purple parallel. Well, Varley used to be a pretty good player for the Avs, and then he had some bad years. He needed to be gone. There's Nazim Kadri. I always keep all my Avs guys, too. So, I have a buddy that loves the Avs, so I give him all of them. 
and he freaks out and loses his shit whenever I give it to him. So, <clears throat> old Brady, Brady Kachuk. That one, is it doubled up? No, it's just a little thicker, it seems like. There's a Brock Bozier. I like the way that these cards look, though. That's the thing on these artifacts cards. All right, there's our commons. Yeah, look at the number on this guy. Come on. Can you guys keep it... Keep the shit together. That's William Nylander. Upper deck. What are you doing? Look at your placement of the number here. Quality control, guys. Quality control. I mean, I'm not a lot of money in these boxes. $44 total. So, uh, I mean, got to add tax to that. Got to pay for them roads. Thanks, Joe Biden. <clears throat> All right, rookie redemption card. Los Angeles Kings. They had the number one pick, so maybe I get him. I will put that in. I've already redeemed my other ones from when I opened artifacts. I got like, I think, four redemptions. So I will gladly go and redeem those ones too. Or that one so far. See what I get. You never really know, though, because they don't tell you until it shows up. So... Who the heck knows? It says rookie, and they had the number one pick. So let's hope that we get that guy. I can't remember who it was now. Off the top of my head, who was the number one pick? Uh, off the top of my head. Let's Google that. Let's Google that, because it's going to drive me crazy. 2020 NHL Draft. Thirty-one players were picked. Blah blah blah. Number one. Oh no, wait, that's right. Twenty twenty. These are going to be twenty twenty. So it was Lafreniere. I was thinking of who the heck though. Who was the L.A. Kings' number one draft pick? L.A. Kings' twenty twenty draft picks. Quinton Byfield with the second overall pick. Quinton Byfield with the second overall pick in the first round of the 2020 draft by Field, who was ranked second overall among North American skaters by the NHL. That's who I was thinking of. That's right, Lafreniere was the number one. What was I thinking? Lafreniere, of course, was the number one. Um... Did I not nip this one? I did nip it. A lot of nothing. I haven't even... I got one Habs player. I don't even have a Flames player. I didn't see one pop up. Alright, we got Barzal. Barzal's a good player. And again, great. Thanks for the number and. Look at that. It's like not even even. And it's all like, look at that. It's all like the nines higher and like almost misprinted. I mean, you've got a number of the cards. Spend these seconds and look and do it correctly, upper deck. Kind of annoying me. If you can tell. I always love that guy's name. Igor. Shesterkin. How did Igor do? Igor played in 12 games and he won 10. So, I mean, that's a pretty good percentage there. 
All right. And Thomas Tater. So, uh, yeah, that was it. That's not too exciting. We got one rookie redemption. And we got three numbered cards. William Nylander, Simon Varlamov, Matthew Barzil. That's our, uh, that was our haul from, for $44. We got four cards. So hoping that that one is the number two pick. All right. Thanks for watching. Please tune in next time. Bye.